Starfighter is so cool because of the story. The gameplay, the detail, immersion. It really does reward you. The sense of being there. Starfighter is a fun game. We were all waiting to see what episode one was going to be about. Once we got a chance to really take a look at the script and evaluate it, we saw the Starfighter and this vehicle was in several scenes, including a large battle scene. It came out naturally. You, know, you looked at it and said, that section can make a great game. We have quite an intricate green light process that involves marketing, sales, development guys, the person whose idea it was in the first place. They spend several days in a room hammering things out. After a period of several months, if everyone is happy, then we will give that product to green light and start spending money and building a team around it. George is involved early on. He wants to make sure that nothing conflicts. He has a PlayStation 2, and he likes to see what we do. We start with a high concept. Sell the company on that high concept. It's sort of like a movie pitch. You never end up building exactly what you design. You're trying to build a good starting point that everybody can understand and they can work off of. Our role is, first and foremost, to produce fun and exciting games, to create compelling stories and characters and situations that the fans can enjoy and that add to the greater mythos. Starfighter is uh, a space combat simulator. The player is flying ships around, uh, both in space and terrestrial environments, blowing things up. And the power of the PS2 immediately began to make itself evident when we started adding special effects and enhanced artificial intelligence. It's got the ability to move more geometry onto the screen than any other console that came before it. And it also has the ability to do some interesting things with textures to give it that Star Wars look. At its height, our team got up to 40 people. We had an extraordinary art team, a very talented gentleman working on terrain, and our level designers were responsible for coming up with scenarios, coming up with missions. And then, of course, at the end of it all, we've got that trademark Star Wars sound. We work very closely with Lucas Licensing, with people at Lucasfilm, about the stories that we tell. Everything we do has to fit within the canon, fit within the Star Wars mythology. The feedback we received from fans on Starfighter was mainly they just really enjoyed the story and the character. They were happy to see new environments along with familiar environments from Episode One, And they were happy to be able to play portions of Episode One that weren't directly tied to the movie but definitely intersected. Starfighter expanded the Star Wars universe more than just um, adding a little bit to the story. There were new ships in it, there were new alien races in it. The games bring that stuff and bring it to life. You're flying through the, the droid ship at the end of the game and there's the landers in there and the droids on the ground and the tank and there's just so much going on. And this is an environment that's recognizable and you remember it from the end of the movie and you're this tiny thing right in the middle of it. You want to complete the mission. You want to say, right, I know I've got to chase after this guy. But you also want to sort of cruise around and go, oh, look down there. <laughs> because of the success of Starfighter, we're going to do a sequel. So it's tied directly into the episode two plot. We're looking into adding force powers into space combat, and this is something that's really never been done before, and it's something that's unique to the Star Wars environment that we can add sort of a magical, mystical quality into starfighter combat. It's really allowing us to pursue elements of space combat that just have never been done before.